What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Bitcoin price, how we could be going and retesting this crucial level of resistance right here and finally breaking through it, closing above it and then testing and breaking $20,000. If you are a Bitcoin bear, then you definitely have to be watching this video. Of course, it's incredibly bullish right now. The price is looking great. And I do think we will be testing that 20K level in the next few days. So in this video, we're going to be talking about exactly that. We're going to take a look at some more indicators, which are proving very, very bullish. However, we are going to be taking a look at one bearish side in today's video, and that is the CME gap all the way down at $17,000. Now, I know some of you guys out there watching this love CME gaps. Some of you hate them. So we're going to be explaining that in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at this bearish chart here, comparing the 2017 and previous bull cycles compared to what we are having now and exactly how it broke out. We're going to be taking a look at some bullish news on Ethereum as well. And finally, a little bit of Ethereum price analysis to round off today's video. And of course, guys, if you're watching this and you are a more experienced trader, then you cannot be missing out on these bonuses which are only going on for a limited time now we have nearly one thousand six hundred dollars in free bonuses this is absolutely insane if you apply this on a 10x that's a sixteen thousand dollar trade for free or for example if you want to do a 20x trade that's pretty much a thirty two thousand dollar trade completely for free which you can withdraw any of the profits if you join these exchanges using my links down below buy bit you'll get a six hundred and ten dollar bonus Femex a $680 bonus and Dudex a $300 bonus, all for just joining using my link and meeting the deposit requirements. Of course, we'll have more of that later on in today's video. Of course, we'll have more about this later on in today's video. Guys, without any further ado, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, thanks for joining me once again. I do really appreciate that. If you haven't already and you do have a spare one second in your day, definitely smash up the like button in today's video as it does mean a lot to me and it helps out the channel. And if you're new around here, first of all, welcome. And second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified when I post my next video. And as always, drop a comment down below if you want to enter to win a free Legend Nano S storage device or the equivalent in Bitcoin. Sorry guys, I haven't posted in the last few days. I've actually been moving house and my office has been crazy hectic with boxes everywhere. It's been incredibly hard to, to focus and make videos. However, now I'm gonna be back on the daily videos again, which is very nice. Let's jump into the charts and see exactly what is going on with the Bitcoin price. So first of all, just taking a zoom out on the charts, on the four hourly charts, um, we can see that most likely there is a very, very prevalent level of resistance right here at this level, which is $19,500. Bitcoin hasn't broken it yet, but we came up, we broke it, and then within a couple of hours, we fell back down below it. This level of resistance at 19,500 really, really does have to get broken, and it could be getting broken in the next few hours or days. Right now, it looks like we are forming another symmetrical triangle again, like so, and usually these will break to the upside. Usually, we have around about a 60%, 60 to 65% chance of a break to the upside, and look exactly where we will break if we break to the upside. This this level of resistance here at around $19,500. This exactly happened back here uh, when, when I was talking about it in my video previously. We had a breakout right here. Where did we break up to? Well, we broke up to this known level of resistance. What happened after that? We got heavily rejected down to $16,200. Now, it could be a bit of a different story. Since we had this breakout, we have had further tests. We've had two tests here of this level. We've had multiple tests of this level here. And again, a test very, very recently as well, just a couple of days ago. So as we all know, because we are all, or well, not all of us, but most of us, if you're watching my content, you should know this in fact. If we test a level numerous times, if we test this $19,500 level numerous times, it will crack, it will become weaker, and hopefully it will break. If Bitcoin can in fact break to the upside from this symmetrical triangle, then we could in fact see a break above this $19,500 level right here, and we could in fact see a push and an attempt to break $20,000. However, Bitcoin has been going sideways now for a few days, 
and we could well break out of this, get rejected, come back down and for form a, a bit of a sideways uh, action like so, maybe retesting um, this $90,500 level in a coming week or a good few days time. This level has to be kept an eye on though, because it is very, very important. And if you guys were interested in a potential trade opportunity, well, there could potentially be a breakout trade from when we break this level, or if you're more of a bear, you could potentially short this level when we reach it, put in a short trade and I would probably target um, around about this area down here. Let's see exactly where I would target for a breakdown. So realistically, if you wanted a target for actually trading this level, you could target something in this range here, about $19,500. That would probably be a reasonable target for this trade. However, just keep in mind that there is a, a reasonable level of horizontal uh, support here at this $18,100, $18,200 level. We can see from right here and over back here, right here, and again, right there. So most likely that would be the best level to target for a short trade from this $19,500 level. And if you guys are interested and you are of course experienced traders then of course down below guys i really am pushing this because it's crazy one thousand six hundred dollars in free bonuses this is insane just a few months ago you'd be lucky to get either a hundred or two hundred dollars from a bonus and now you can get up to one thousand six hundred dollars on bybit six hundred and ten dollars for free on femex six hundred and eighty dollars for free and on judex there is three hundred dollars for free adding up to just under sixteen hundred dollars which is crazy and of course with a 10 or 20x trade, you could have over a $30,000 trade pretty much for free. And just a simple 10% profit could net you around $3,000 in profit, which is crazy for a free trade. Let's take a look at the CME gap now and leave your comments down below, guys. Do you agree with and do you think that the Bitcoin price always follows to the CME gap or do you not? Many people are heavily divided with this and I would really love to know your opinion on exactly what your thoughts are on CME gaps. Personally, I think usually they will get filled around 80% of the time. However, I think that they don't always have to get filled, but most of the time they in fact do. We have a gap here down at around $17,000. From the current price down to $17,000, we would experience around about a... 11% correction, and that would probably meet with that target down here, uh, kind of similar in that range if we were to see a CME, uh, this CME gap, in fact, getting closed. However, Bitcoin is looking fairly bullish right now. Um, if we were to see this happen, I don't think we would see it before we retested this $19,500 level. I would think we would come up, break out of here, retest this, get rejected, and come back down uh, to this level down here. That's if we were going to test the CME gap. Let's take a look now at some bullish news for Bitcoin. This is a really, really interesting chart, guys, I found on TradingView. And it says here, a little over three years it took Bitcoin to reclaim its previous all-time highs from 2014. People having that period thought, my investment is lost. I'll never get back to what I put in. And once that happened, people began taking profit, profit, uh, profits. Uh, psychologically, that level is insanely important. Right now, we have completely the same. We're seeing this right now. We hit the 2017 all-time high and retail is taking profits. How I think we are staying around this level without huge dips is because so many institutions, etc., have begun dollar cost averaging in every day. Once the sell pressure from those who bought at 16 to 20K in 2017, 2018 has dried up, we can then resume upwards. Unless we hit another black swan event, this is only just the beginning of the Bitcoin price. Now, if you don't know what a black swan event, it's a completely uncontrollable event or series of events which have ha, may have a big effect on the market or the Bitcoin price. For example, the pandemic which happened earlier this year, you could call that uh, some form of a black swan event. So I think this chart looks very, very bullish and I think we could be seeing an explosion in the Bitcoin price I do think a lot of people are taking profits in this region. A lot of people back from 2017 to 2018 are in fact taking profits. However, the smart money is in fact buying right now because $20,000 Bitcoin is only the tip of what the Bitcoin price could be in the future. Let's take a look at this now really quickly. Um, Ethereum number of non-zero addresses recently just made a new all-time high and this is extremely bullish for Ethereum. When we go and take a look at this Ethereum chart, just like I said when we were down here guys, when the price was down here back in towards the end of November, I said most likely let's check for a retest on this area. It will be a good long trade uh, in this area. So if you did take that trade or if you are profitable on that trade, definitely let me know down below in the comments as that was a very nice heads up. Uh, Ethereum price currently went up to around $625. The previous level which it was tested 
testing. We've tested it three times now. And as we know with the Bitcoin price, the more times we test this level, the more times it cracks, the more times it starts to break and the more chance there is to in fact break through it. Every time we test it and get rejected, we have a, a slightly better chance to break it since that level of resistance is becoming weaker. So the Ethereum price, again, I think we could have some form of a little pullback, maybe even form um, uh, an ascending uh, triangle here or, or something in that range, depending on what is going on. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Again, the Bitcoin price is looking very bullish. I think it would be crazy to be bearish for the Bitcoin price right now. This $19,500 level, though, it really does have to be keep kept in the back of your mind. And also this $17,000 level for the CME futures chart as well, if we are going to close that gap. If you haven't already got your free bonuses and up to $1,600 for free, of course, Bybit is linked down below, Femex is linked down below, and Judex is linked down below. And if you join using my links, you'll get the biggest bonus available at the current time and you meet the deposit requirements right here. Thanks for watching today's video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.